Hello and welcome to Auto Nerds. This video is going to be a quickie. In PicoScope 7, on the left hand side of the screen, we have a menu that we can control what items are displayed. But what's not very obvious is how we control where those items are displayed in the list. The way this system works is that as you fill in these stars, items are added to the list. What you will notice here is that the last item chosen is at the top right of the list. And then in descending order, it goes from top right to the second row on the left, to the second row on the right, to the third row on the left, and so on and so forth. So what we can do, if we know what items we want to have on the list and where, we can, we can choose how we enable these items and control where they land within the list. So my preferred list, which I will copy at the bottom of the video in the notes, would be the notes. I want the um, About PicoScope 7, Channel Labels, Settings, Reference Waveforms, I want the waveform library, math channels, connect detect, views, serial decoding, measurements, reset configuration, and last but not least, rulers. It, by choosing those items in that order, what we've done is we've put rulers, measurements, views, cha uh, math channels, reference waveforms, channel labels, and notes in the right-hand column. And then we have put reset configuration, serial decoding, connect detect, waveform library, settings, and about PicoScope in the left-hand column. This list can be adjusted to whatever you would like. But in order to have a, a list that is flat on the bottom, you would need to have an odd number of items chosen. And if you want certain items to be in the right-hand column versus the left, you would need to highlight them in or choose them in an alternating pattern. So something you want, something less important, and then something you want. One last thing about the left side menu list is that when we choose an item, if we uncheck it and then recheck it, it will take it out of wherever it is on the list and it will add it back to the top right. So we'll do that here. We will do uh, notes, which is on the bottom right hand column. I'm gonna uncheck notes. And then as I recheck notes, you'll see that it appears at the top of the right hand column. 